Hello my breakfast cereals, welcome back to another Splatoon Salmon Run Tips video. All of the previous tips can be found in the video description below. Without further ado, let's continue where we left off. Number 6. When to use your specials. The first wave is usually very easy. Don't waste your specials like you see my teammates doing here. Your main and sub weapons usually work just fine on the first wave. Now there are exceptions for the first wave. If your team is completely overrun by salmonids and bosses, then use it. Or if your first wave happens to be a goldie rush, use your specials if you need to because the goldie rushes are pretty hard to hold on to if your team isn't doing it right. When you get to wave 3, don't use all your specials at once. Alternate them. Doing this benefits your team because one person will be using the special to fight off the horde while the others can run in and pick up the eggs. Number 7. Run. If you're the only one alive and you can't get to your fallen teammates and you've already met your quota, just stay alive and let your fallen teammates come to you. You do not want to lose the wave. Remember, only do this if you already met the quota. If you haven't met the quota, then you have to try to get the eggs while reviving your teammates. Here's an example of me trying to run away as the last person alive on our team after we've already met the quota. Hang in there fam, I got you. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh, just four seconds left. Just four seconds. Oh, my teammate just died. I'm the only one alive. Did I make... Yes! Oh my god! Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> Number 8. Pay attention to this way! Oh, guys? Guys? Guys! Number 9. High Ground. Avoid fighting the horde and bosses on the same floor. Fight on an elevation. That means any place where you are higher than the enemies. If they want to get you, they'll need to go around and by the time they do that, they already be dead. Fighting on high ground holds especially true for the ink brush since it does very little damage. You should never engage head on with the ink brush. Always attack from high ground or behind the salmonids. Number 10, Mothership. So here's how the Mothership wave works. Throughout the wave, these flying salmonids will drop off crates. Kill the flying salmonids because they will drop an egg upon death. These crates aren't as important, but they do spawn enemies if they are left unattended. So you still need to destroy the crates, but always go for the flying salmonids. The mama ship will come in a couple of times throughout the wave and will try to steal your basket. Mr. Grizz alerts you, so pay attention. Destroy the mama ship before it can steal your precious basket. Keep in mind that the longer the mama ship is on the basket, the more eggs it's going to steal. Notice how we start to lose eggs, so destroy it immediately. The stinger is perfect for destroying the mama ship, so if you have it, be ready for when the mama ship comes. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope it helps, and if it did, please share it. Love you all, bye!